Newman for the Mobile Bay Bears back out here at Hank Aaron Stadium. I'm joined by Bay Bears outfielder Zach Borenstein. Zach, thanks for taking time out. You're welcome. So now, Zach, last night you made an appearance as a designated hitter against the Barons and ended up hitting for the cycle. Um, so walk us through that from a batter's perspective. Um, well, I got the DH spot yesterday, which is always nice. Um, the first at bat, I got a ground ball through the four hole that um, often is, is gloved by the first baseman, but, you know, baseball's a game of inches, so I squeaked one through there, and uh, from then on, just got some good pitches to hit, and, and uh, things kind of just went my way. So every time you went up to the plate, do you pay attention to what you're getting as far as singles, triples, or is it just one of those things where it's just another at-bat? Uh, it's definitely just another at-bat, um, especially day-to-day -day basis, uh, because those games don't happen very often um, but yesterday I mean you, you get aware of it once you get three out of the four um, you're always aware that that you're one hit away from the cycle did someone end up telling you that you were one away from the cycle or did it just kind of hit you well I knew um, but yeah guys were reminding me anyways and so when you came up to the plate knowing you needed a double were you gonna run for a second regardless uh, no I wasn't gonna do anything stupid well I mean I don't know if I would hit a ball even remotely close that I could stretch into two, I was probably going to go for it. So, but um, I mean, if I hit a ball that the center fielder dove for, and I wasn't going to stop running it too, I was going to go to three. But uh, it just kind of worked out perfectly. So you're a frequently used position player. Um, what's the difference in transitioning from that to just a designated hitter? Uh, just, I mean, the defensive part of the game is just is, uh, is it's not. A factor for you so it's different in the sense that you have to stay focused um, uh, in different ways on and when you're playing both sides of the ball uh, you kind of have to flush your bats pretty quickly and go out there and be ready to make a play on defense uh, when you're the DH you you have often 30 minutes sometimes before at bats and you have time to think about it um, you just got to be able to, to regroup and, and just pay attention to the game and focus on your exit bat and trying to transition with everything includes moving from different teams that are sometimes across the country. You started out in Mobile, had a trip in Reno for a little bit, and then you're back in Mobile. How have you adjusted? Um, well, I was here last year a little bit and started off the season here uh, for the first road trip. So uh, it doesn't feel like a new location for me. Just uh, the hardest part about it is just uh, is just the getting up and moving and and having your things all over the place, but uh, I, I don't mind it here. What's been the easiest part about coming back into Mobile and getting your gears back here? Uh, just the sense of uh, familiarity. I, I know the guys, I know the coaches, uh, and it's not like I'm walking into a new clubhouse, which sometimes is tough uh, to kind of find yourself, your role on that team. Uh, I feel like when I came back here, I hadn't really uh, missed a beat with these guys. You certainly haven't missed in a beat for this series. Zach, again, thank you for your time. Thank you. Again, that's Melanie Newman with Bay Bears outfielder Zach Bornstein for the Mobile Bay Bears.